A picture is worth a thousand words. How many times have we all heard that? But have you ever stopped to think about what it means for communicating conservation to citizens? Here are two things you should know. Regardless of their education, regardless of their native language, people understand pictures more quickly than words that they hear or read. And people remember pictures longer than words that they hear or read. That's why step two of the four-step method is to find foolproof photos. You should find your foolproof photos before you start writing. And you should spend more time and take more care with your photos than with your writing. Here are three types of photos you should go out of your way to include. And the first is faces. Faces have amazing power to draw attention. That's why every movie poster you've ever seen basically looks the same. Big pictures, big faces. These will draw the attention of a passerby from across the mall. Every piece of advice about job interviews or first dates stresses the importance of eye contact. You can make eye contact with photos in your print and web publications. In 2007, the Washington Post reported that humans automatically behave in more socially conscious ways when the brain detects a visual pattern resembling a gaze. The second kind of photo that you should go out of your way to include is a good example. You came up with a behavior in step one, now find a picture of it. If you want farmers to welcome you onto their land to discuss a conservation easement, show a picture of it. If you want anglers to cooperate with the Natural Resources Police when they check your license, show a picture of it. And if you want Marylanders to get involved in protecting their local streams, show a picture of it. A common mistake in our community is to show a picture of the wrong behavior and then tell what the right behavior is. But the picture is so much more powerful than the words. An even more common mistake is to miss the opportunity to show a picture of the behavior you want. This web page for the Maryland Guide to Hunting and Trapping could show a hunter wearing blaze orange or phoning in their kill to the harvest check-in system. This Maryland boater safety brochure could show a boater wearing a life jacket. And this Maryland Park Service web page could show a family staring at the stars instead of the campfire. The right picture can go a long way to make somebody feel included. After all, would you rather tell a farmer they can raise crops on their protected land, or would you rather show it? It's more powerful to show a community that protected natural resources can provide jobs than to tell it. And it's far more powerful to show minorities at your events than to tell them that they're welcome. Here are the takeaways from today's lesson. A picture is worth a thousand words because people understand pictures more quickly than words that they hear or read, regardless of their native language, regardless of how much education they have. And people remember pictures longer than words that they hear or read. Faces. Go out of your way to include faces in your next print or web publication. Go out of your way to include pictures that set, show good examples in your next print or web publication. And go out of your way to use inclusive photos. Now that you've seen today's lesson, here are the next steps. First, take the quiz. It's required. Then, join the forum. It's optional, but it's encouraged. Finally, review the optional reading and resources.